Hey everybody, it is Wisdom Wednesday. And here are some of the pearls I wanna leave with you today. So as many of you know, um, you know, who've been watching me, I've been struggling with uh, symptoms of fatigue lately. And today was a particularly bad day from it. And part of the way that I've been coping with this, not just today, but you know, through the more recent duration of when this is happening, you know, is to really tune in to when my body is not feeling well and when I don't have the energy for my body and mind to do what I wanted to, how can I be appreciative of life regardless and be in harmony with the situation. Um, it is really tough for me to have to spend so much time resting because I am just so exhausted, you know, and, and not spending the time I want, you know, on, on exercise and other projects. Um, it's, it's really been a struggle for me. And I think it's a challenge for my recovery, because as many of us know, recovery takes um, a lot of mental and emotional energy. And I feel like I'm having so much energy uh, sucked for me right now. I actually had a little bit of a slip with the food yesterday. Um, but here's how I I am coping uh, with that. I'm really embracing um, a harm reduction model in my recovery because what I've learned over the years is I try very hard to commit myself to recovery, um, but this addiction um, of binge eating has so much power over me that it is going to take a lot to overcome it. Um, and at certain periods of my life, 100% abstinence from it um, may not be realistic. Um, and, and I have to be real about that and embrace that. You know, um, I simply cannot try any harder to obtain abstinence every single day. I try to the best of my ability, and this is just where I'm at. And if harm reduction needs to be, you know what? Then I will embrace it, you know? And, and similar to how I have been coping to my mind and my body, not having the energy that like I want either of them to have by saying, okay, you know what? This is it. Um, I'm trying to change that and you know what I'm doing to change that, you know, isn't working. So if you try to change something and it's not working and you feel like you simply cannot expend the energy to try any harder, how can you switch gears and accept, you know, and, and, and accept yourself and accept your environment in the meantime. And it's the same thing with the binging. If you're trying really, really hard for abstinence um, and it's just not happening, how can you switch gears and say, you know what? Um, how can I reduce the harm as much as possible when it does happen and afterwards, um, you know, and set myself up so that I can either um, eliminate triggers or be in a mental place where I can respond to them, um, you know, as best as possible when they do happen. Um, so those, you know, everything I've been talking about today, not ideal situations for my health, not ideal situations for my mental health, um, but I wanted to share how I've been coping with them because I think we're all gonna have times in our life where things are um you know less than ideal like <laughs> so um and, and and not really what we want so that's how I'm coping with it um I hope that uh this has value to any of you who are going through something similar and I will definitely check in with everybody soon uh have a safe evening and be kind to yourself